the Rotary Club of Pikeville is currently accepting donations for their second annual Christmas drive for nursing home residents. The idea for this effort, which hopes to offer help and support to nursing home residents in need in our area this holiday season, was originally put forth by Rotary Club treasurer Eva Stewart. We sat down with Stewart early on Wednesday to find out more about these fundraising efforts as well as her initial inspiration for this charitable endeavor. This year we're doing the uh, nursing home Christmas drive event. It's their second annual drive. Last year it started as um, something I wanted to do to honor my father. My father passed away in um, March of uh, April of 2020, just right after the pandemic. You know, everything shut down, and anybody that's gone through losing a parent, um, you know, that grief is is pretty pretty hard on you. And, uh, and my father, I remembered him whenever he was a deacon in his church. He loved going to the nursing homes and visiting those people and he would pray and sing and just visit, you know, and that was always been close to my heart. So I thought, well, I'll do something to, you know, give some gifts to the Parkview Nursing Home. So that was close to my home. And so with that, I talked to a Pipeful Rotary Club because I knew I needed more help than what I could do. And after talking with them, they uh, graciously accepted helping me do that and actually grew into let's let's help as many people as we can let's see how many nursing homes are in Pike County it ended up being four and it just blossomed into this terrific event that we had and um, we talked to our community about uh, donations and things like that and within three weeks we raised about $12,000 for these nursing home residents. We actually were going to start delivering gifts next Friday to our Phelps nursing home. And then on the 15th, we'll be going to Pipeville and to Parkview. And then on the 16th, we're going to be going to Elkhorn. So we've got a lot to do in the next couple of weeks. And while we've had some uh, uh, tremendous support from the community, we do need a lot more help. During our meeting, we also spoke with Rotary Club member and former club president, Greg Dempsey. Dempsey stated that the need for donations, whether monetary or otherwise, is usually high for nursing home residents this time of year. He mentioned that there are multiple drop-off locations around town where donations can be left to be delivered, including the main office of Community Trust Bank near Pikeville High School, as well as the first national bank location near Cassidy Boulevard. Dempsey provided us with a list of some of the items they are in greatest need of currently, while also praising the community's efforts last year with this same fundraising initiative. Bathrobes, nightgowns, pajamas, uh, socks, books, magazines, uh, household items, deodorant, toothbrushes, anything like that. We need a lot of everything. Last year the community really grabbed a hold of it in a really short time. Uh, it wasn't just the monetary things that we got, but the amount of things people brought. And um, Eva's team stored it here and other places. And I mean, it was jam packed. We need as much as we can. I mean, we're, we're looking at 400 people plus. Can't thank people enough for the help they give us on this. It really makes a difference when you see these folks at the, at the nursing home. Last year was pretty rough on everybody, but it was especially rough on the lonely. You're the only smiling face they see outside the building. It's pretty special. Everybody needs to be a part of it. Anyone who is interested in either donating items or volunteering their time to help those in need this holiday season is welcome to contact Eva Stewart of the Rotary Club of Pikeville at 606-616-1615. For Mountain Top News, I'm Joshua Sloan.